my favourite, but Romanchuk looked very good in the heats. Palcinieri might just have been playing with them a bit and leaving a little bit in reserve because he knows he can do that. Two French run. Only one, one Italian, Italian that we expected. The other the Italian, Italian Galassi we didn't quite expect. Because Gabriele Detti did not make that top eight. Best surprise, but I didn't quite swim the race he should have done. And missed out to Galossi. So, Victor Johansson first up for Sweden. And he'll be going in lane number eight. Joris Bouchot of France will go in the lane number one. He's got the headphones on, but can hear the noise through, apparently. Sven Schwarz will go in seven for Germany. Watch out for this man. Like a lot of these swimmers, does open water as well. Damien Joly will be in lane number two. First, First off, the, the Italians, Italians, and maybe, maybe not the one we were expecting, expecting. Lorenzo, Lorenzo Golossi. Is it? And he gets a big cheer. What kind of a noise and rapture will we receive for Gregorio Paltrinieri in lane number three? Let's find out. <laughs> yeah, I thought it might be a bit loud. No real surprise. Lucas Martins of Germany will go in five. Won't receive anything like that reception, obviously. And here's Mikhailo Romanchuk in lane number four. Looking forward to this showdown, this battle. It's one they've had in open water quite often. Well, Pautrinieri had an absolutely exceptional 1503 in Budapest, but that's a while ago now. What can happen in that time? But it should be. Falcon area gets from Manchuk. We're jolly having a say. Just interested to see which way they swim this. 1500 is easier to work out. The tactics are normally quite apparent from the off. But the 800, that kind of hybrid halfway house. Need to, need to get, get some, some speed, speed in early. early. Need to have that finish, finish. to bring yourself home. home. Galossi will, will certainly be fancy his chances of getting on the medal podium. podium. Yeah, so he went quicker, quicker than, than uh, Gabriele Detti, Detti, but, but difficult to see a winner, winner coming, coming from beyond, beyond two, three, two, three, and four, four to, to my mind. mind. Just going on past experiences and past results. Uh, yeah, yeah, didn't really get Paltrinieri to show, show his hand, hand that, that much, much in the heat, so maybe, maybe now we'll see the true Paltrinieri. Boucher of France, France in one, Jolie of France in two. Paltrinieri, the 1500 meters champion from Budapest, going in lane three. Romancho, Ukraine, of those big open water swimmers these days, too. Lucas Martins in five for Germany. Galossi, Italy, six. Schwarz, Germany, seven. Johansson of Sweden goes in lane number eight. First 50, he wants to take it out. Martins is taking it out. Under European record pace. That's belonging to Paltrinieri, 739.27. So we'll keep an eye on that in case it's uh, quite pacey. Paltrinieri, though, came off that wall and uh, moved himself right back up into contention while he was ever out of it. So let's see what the time is at 100. Coming down our end to turn. Still under a uh, European record pace, 55.27. We've seen a world record go tonight. Maybe we'll see a European record go in the 800 freestyle. Martins is taken out strongly. Might, might just, just be, be acting as a placemaker for Falconieri and Romancho. Don't, don't want to downplay, downplay his chances, but the other two, two of the experience they have, well, Falconieri does take over now. Still under world record, sorry, European record pace by 
five one hundreds. Martins in second, Romanchuk in third. Altrinieri, kind of where he wants to be, able to keep his eye on Romanchuk and two up from him on Lucas Martins. Now remember, they were under European record pace, 150. Are they still at 200? No, just outside it, but it's very tight. 153.49. Kind of what we expected, Altrinieri and Romanchuk. Martins, who set the early pace, is now in third. But that's, that's the center, center lanes, lanes in a national three, three, four, and five. five. Johnny might, might come, come back, back in lane two, but he's got a lot of work to do, even at this stage. As we hit 250, still Patronieri just from Martins and Romanchuk. So they have a very good three way split for the medals here. Patronieri, we know, has got a fantastic pitch. He showed that. In Budapest in the 1500, Romanchuk won't want to leave it till too late. Martins is tracking the Ukraine swimmer to his side. Watching out what's happening down here. Schwartz and Golosi having their own little battle. 300, it's 252. It's not still massively outside European record pace, but it has slipped just a bit. Martins now takes over Baltrinieri in second and Romanchuk third, but they're separated by 0.19 of a second, so nothing determined, nothing decided yet. If the crowd are a factor, Baltrinieri is going to win this, but I'm sure Romanchuk and Martins are trying to block out that noise. They'll be able to hear it, though, as they come down for the 350 turn. Baltrinieri back in front, Martins second, Romanchuk third. Every 50 is changing. And watch the top of your picture. Bouchot has suddenly come right into the picture in lane number one. Wasn't there before, but is starting to make a bit of a move towards the 400 split. Could he be the surprise package here? We're going to have a new leader again, aren't we? Yeah, you know, Baltrinieri just from Martins. One hundred. What a finish this is looking to be here. Baltrinieri, Martins, Romanchuk. Still all in a line. Nothing to choose between them. Every single turn there could be a new leader. Also now, Galossi and Schwartz coming a bit closer. Look at them in lanes six and seven. We, we might, might find this Martins back in front of Pautonieri still on the turns, getting them slightly better than Martins, but only just Romancho in third place. Still looks like these three for the medals to me. Pautonieri, top of your picture, in the middle of that sandwich is Mikhail Romanchuk and Lucas Martins of Germany. Anybody want to join the party? Baltrinieri doing exactly what Baltrinieri does and looking immense with 300 to go. 449 at 500. I think the European record that Baltrinieri holds is not going to get broken here. It's not about that. It's about the racing and about the gold, silver and bronze in Rome. And the crowd again roar. Absolutely trying to lift Baltrinieri. He doesn't need it, but he'll take all that he can get from this home crowd. He tries to open up the biggest lead of the race so far, and he has. Three quarters of a second between Baltrinieri and Martins, and Romanchuk in third place. And it looks like the Italian has timed his burst just at the right time. Can Martin stick with him? Can Romanchuk stick with him? Answer looks like no right now. Baltrinieri. Crowd absolutely going berserk. With 200 to go, the lead is as big as it's been. It's almost a second over Martins. And Romanchuk in third place. Anybody else fancy a piece of the action? Galossi does. Do you know what? Might get another Italian in the top three here. The winner's going to come from lane number three. Surely nobody's going to catch Baltrinieri now. But Golosi might be catching Romanchuk and might be catching Martins. Could it be an Italian one too? There's still time for that to happen. Italian one and four at the moment. Martins just from Romanchuk, but Romanchuk is just holding on from Golosi. 
crowd are more worried about Valtteri with it. Don't be worried about that. He's got this nailed. But the Italian now, the other Italian, Galossi, is coming past Romanchuk. And Martins is his next target. Valtteri, 100 to go. The 800 freestyle title is his once again as that lead extends over Martins in second place. Galossi is now in third place. It's Italy one, it's Italy three. No doubt, not that has been for some considerable time in this race, that Gregorio Baltranieri is going to get an early 28th birthday present here. The battle though for second place is still exciting and the crowd are now realizing Galossi is one second behind Martins as they go into the last 50. They'll cheer Baltrimieri to the end but they will also hope that Galossi can find something to come past Martins who is digging in stoically in lane number five. Baltrimieri will finish one before those two. Martins is doing really well to hold off Galossi. It will be Baltrimieri for the win. It will be Martins, a massive sprint into the wall for Martins and for Galossi. And the German holding on for second place. Baltrimieri's winning time is a new championship record. 7.40.86. It is ear splitting in here. It is deafening in here. You can probably hear this in Milan. It's that loud. It is raucous. And that's to put it mildly. He won that pretty comfortably in the end, didn't he, Baltrinieri? Two seconds better than Martin, who I've got to give a lot of credit to because Galossi was putting in one almighty sprint at the end there. Martin's holding on. For the silver, Galossi in third, and Romancho reduced to fourth place. Well, people say the 800 and the 1500s is boring. No, it's not. It really isn't. I know that Pantra nearly had that one pretty much halfway through the race, but second place changed hands so many times. They've got, he's got his own song, too. <laughs> Great at open water, fantastic at 1500, and he makes that step down to 800 pretty effortlessly. Greg on the cap, and Altonieri doesn't need to get the crowd going. They're going, believe me, they're going. Super Greg does it again. 7.4086.